you know, let's talk about the question that other people have been asking, you know, should the Australian Grand Prix have been red flagged after George's crash? So after further, you know, consideration, (laughs) um, if it was not the last lap of the race, yes, because it was the last lap of the race. No, because you brought up a really good point and I'm using it as my personal point now as well. (laughs) You're welcome. You pointed this out that the cars would have had to take the same path, whether it was red flagged or not, because they had to pass him at some point. Like they can't just hold up the entire race for George's car. So they would have had to pass him to go to the pit lane because it's the last lap. There's no difference. So like, if it was not the last lap, then absolutely it should have been red flagged. But I feel like they would have done that if it was not the last lap. Right. Yeah. And obviously we had a very contentious last lap red flag last year. Um, But these are two totally different situations. And obviously we've heard George's radio call and we've heard George calling for a red flag. George was absolutely right to ask for a red flag because he had just crashed his car. He didn't know where he landed and he was on his side. So you know, based on prior experience, prior crashes, George is 100% in the right to ask for a red flag. Does the fact that it wasn't red flagged mean that that was the wrong decision or that George was wrong? No to either question. It was just, you know, a, you know, VSC or a red flag ultimately brought up the same result of bringing the cars back to the pit lane for the end of the race. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying from his perspective, but at the same time, to me, it's just like George complaining on the radio again. I mean, also that. I'm, <laughs> this is the guy who also called his car a rocket ship, and then it was a rocket ship just straight into a wall. Um, and he was projected for a podium finish, so. I mean, yeah, he's yeah. always projected to a, for, to a podium <laughs> finish. Yeah, it was it was a really rough weekend for Mercedes. Like, yeah, to, they ended up flat out. out. It was just, yeah, and... I loved how like George crashed. No, I don't love that George crashed. I I found it amusing how they show coverage and it was like George's crash and then they pan to Lewis Hamilton and yeah. he's just sitting there like in his street clothes like son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah. But cuz this this dinged them and we'll talk about where the constructor standings are in a minute, but this did ding them pretty badly and you know Fernando's um, his post race penalty actually helped them in the standings, but Mercedes is having a rough one right now. 